God is so good. God is so good to you people. Tell me, how is, is he good to you? What has he done for you? Did he do it? Or did you do it? Tell me one thing that God done for you. Without you doing it. Tell me one thing that God has done for you without you going out there to do it. Tell me one thing that he's done. Don't name something that you done and give him credit for it. Name something that he done while you praying and it magically appears. Tell me one thing he done for you. I'll wait. Nothing. If I give you this headphone set. Did God send me. To give you this headset that you don't even own. For free. Or did I choose to give you the headset did I okay this is a good one here I give somebody, I walk up to somebody and give them some money. And that person would say, you know, thank you God. That that person was sent by God. Or did that person just give you this money out of kindness because he or she chose to give you this money out of that person's kindness because guess what what if I didn't give it to you somebody else that has a kind heart would do it it's not because God sent you someone it's because that person had a kind heart to give it to you it has nothing to do with God doing anything you see, people are so brainwashed and so deceived and blind that they believe anything when people come to them about God. But I choose to give you this money. Choice. Because if I didn't choose to give it to you, somebody else down the line probably would. Right? Or maybe not. Who knows? But we all do things by choice. God has nothing to do if someone comes and help you or comes and gives you something. It has nothing to do with no God. They're doing it by choice. We all have a choice. We all make choices. We either choose to do it or we don't. We either choose to help somebody or we don't help someone. By choice. It has nothing to do with God sending someone to you. People believe anything that comes from the wrong people. You see, you want to know how you can tell we live in a lie? Because all you got to do is look around you. If we was living in truth, the earth, the people would be living in peace because nothing will be hidden but if you're living a lie you're gonna have a negative life and everything around you is basically negative that's how you know the difference between a positive and a negative lifestyle that we live in 
the, the lies that we live in is negative. And if we were spreading the truth, we would have a positive life. But what do you see mostly is negative. So that means we're living a lie. Because all you see is negativity. Confusion. Negativity causes confusion. And negative thoughts and all types of stuff happening that we see today. But the truth will have a positive effect. But as you can see, we don't live in truth. We never really did. We've been living lies. And by you spreading this to your kids, the same stuff that you've been spreading for years, from generation out of generation, and it's going to your kids, your grandkids, and all of them, you're gonna have the same life. Nothing will never change, nothing will never get better, because you all depend on God. That you never met, don't know nothing about Him. A book is telling you everything about Him. That's like me telling my son about me by writing a book about me and I give him a book. We all are in our kids' lives. We're not invisible, we're physical. So, where's God? That's how you know you've been lied to. Because you don't see Him anywhere. Y'all say God does this and that. If a God created everything, shouldn't that Creator still be in our presence? Right now as we speak, not disappeared or be invisible, but should he be physical? If he created everything, should he be physical himself so we can see him? And not hide behind closed doors, worshiping him, praising him, giving him credit, giving your power to him, bowing down to him, but you never seen him or never met him. Don't know nothing about him. You see where I'm coming from? This is how y'all live your lives. This is why nothing will never change. And I'm tired of it myself. But you know. I had to live this pathetic life. Really have no choice. I realized that none of you is going to wake up. Still going to be the same stuff going on. The same old stuff. I don't understand. I do not understand why people don't want peace. I don't understand why people accept lies. I don't understand this. I do understand, but I don't understand. I understand why this is happening. I understand why people are in this mindset, but I just don't get why. Humans are so blind and easy to manipulate and focus on money and material things and negative thoughts and playing games with people emotions not taking life seriously only playing with it and just some evil people They man's is all messed up. They have no care in the world, but only themselves and money. And material things. Not expanding their minds, 
not thinking outside the box, not, um, they only think about the same stuff. This is, it's the same stuff going on. Man, when you go through the same thing over and over again, you look all around you, you see things totally different from other people. And I'm considered crazy and <laughs> I don't really care. <sighs> Y'all don't understand, I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of this life, I'm tired of living a life that's built upon negativity and no love and I'm tired of this. There's no peace, there's no love, no respect. I feel like I'm the only one with this mindset. I feel like I'm the only one that wants peace truly, that wants true love and to help people. And but I realize I can't help nobody on this earth. I'm just so tired. This is why I'm alone today because of my mindset, the way people look at me, even though I spread the truth, it just hurts people so much. Y'all have no idea how I feel. I gotta be fake around everybody. I gotta stoop down to everybody's level. That's what I mean by being fake. I can't be myself. I can't even talk the way I want to talk. Because nobody will understand. Because they're on an idiotic level. As far as what they've been taught by the government. Ain't nothing I can do about it. All I can do is talk, but it gets nowhere compared to somebody that talks about God. <laughs> they get all the attention because all you gotta do is bring up God. These people do not understand. Just so tired, man.